Hi, hello, my name is Kat, and this is Whittier Stitches. Welcome to floss tube number 12. Um, it's been a hot minute since we've done a regular floss tube update, so this one may be long. I'm going to try to keep it short, but no promises. Um, let's go. We're going to start off. I'm going to do life updates at the end so that if y'all don't want to listen to it, you don't have to. Um, so finishes. Ta-da! I finished the Sim Sampler. Ah, thanks Jordan for picking this one when I asked you, what do I want to work on? I can't choose what to work on. It's finally done. Yay. The lighting sucks. I forgot to bring in my big light. So whatever. Yay. <laughs> Um, this one took a long time. I started this in December 2022 and I finished it, uh, like, I don't know, a week and a half ago, maybe, maybe we'll see. I don't know. Not we'll see. I Either way, it's done. <laughs> it took me way longer than it should have. But it's done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, yeah, gorgeous, lovely, love it. Uh, okay. New starts. I have three new starts and a restart. One of my new starts is out in the car, and it is raining its butt off. So I'm not gonna go get it. We're not gonna be seeing it. But that's okay. Um, we'll just keep going. This is the beginning of Horde Old Hag from Autumn Lane Stitchery. This is on 32 count Lugana. Um, I dyed it myself. It's gorgeous. It is being stitched two over one tent stitch. Cause this is a, an extremely large pattern. It's like 24, 23, 24,000 stitches, which I was not expecting when I looked at it, but that's okay. Either way, that's the beginning, that's the top, huzzah, top center start um, this time around. It is a lot of fun to work on. Um, I've only put two days into it so far, but for reasons you will see. Because I've been working on other stuff. Next start is Luna Love from Sprouting Lupine. This is on a 28 count. I don't remember what kind of fabric. It's a 28 count. I dyed it myself in an ice bath. And I am doing this with almost a complete conversion. Um, that is the beginning. It is the bottom right hand corner um well right hand when you're looking at it. you know what I mean either way um I'm using two of the called for DMCs and the rest are most sale silk conversions um I have those listed on my Instagram under the post for this if you're curious about them it's very pretty and I'm very excited I when I dyed this fabric mm, Everything in my body went, this is meant for Sprouting Lupines, one of their like Valentine's Day patterns. And I liked Love Bug, but it never really called my name. And I really liked the mushy one, but again, it didn't call my name. And so I just kind of tucked the fabric aside. And sure enough, this year's Valentine's come out and it was the Luna Love and it 100% called my name. And I was like, oh, I have the perfect fabric. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so, yay! <laughs> it's so cute, look at the little bubble bee! My little pink bubble bee! Oh. Okay, so the camera's probably in a different spot. Um, we'll see. I knocked my camera over fussing with the dogs. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yes, my other new start was Princess Kazuya from Brooks Books Princess Dress Ups um, is in the car. It is raining its butt off. I don't feel like going to get it. 
but it was a new start. Don't have a whole lot going into it. Um, and then I had a restart, which I already posted about this on Instagram and several people were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're restarting it. And Ben, my caption guy, does not know I did this yet. So, especially since he picks on me for this one all the time. Y'all remember this one? <laughs> Mom's house? I restarted it. I'm at like 19,000 stitches, right? I restarted it. Um, it. I mean, I know 19,000 stitches is a lot, but it's got 150,000 total. Actually, more than that. Because I realized while I was going around that I gridded wrong and there were two spots that were off by one. So there's an extra 500, an extra 800 stitches. So there's 150,800 stitches in this. And I don't know how I was going to fudge that one where I was off. Um, at the bottom it would have been fine, but like the across where I was off was like in the middle of the house so I did I this has been this one has been UFO'd it's done trash I restarted it um hee <laughs> look at that I switched to 28 count easy grid I think it's called um and I'm doing two over one tent stitch and I have fallen back in love with this project I was so excited so in love when I first started and I put so much time and effort and I hated the fabric and every time I picked it up I hated it more and more and more it was on 22 count hardinger and I just I got to the point where I didn't want to touch it anymore I worked on it purely out of guilt um so this this fabric this stitch is phenomenal now I'm oh, just look at it look how neat look how cute look how pretty and look that's half of it that goes out to 250 It's going to be, it's going to be smaller. Me and my mom had a conversation about it because it is going to be smaller than we originally talked about. Originally, I was trying to match the size of a painting she already had up in her house, but that painting is no longer something I need to worry about because um, she has replaced it with something else that was even bigger. So now I don't care if it matches that or not. Ta-da! Ta-da! Beautiful, nice little restart. I love it. I'm happy to work on it again. Um, I no longer hate its guts. Yay! Yay! I think I'm like... I don't know, maybe 2,000 stitches into it? I have no clue. I have not paid attention. But it is restarted. I am happy. It is wonderful. Two over one tent stitch is fantastic. I remember when Crafty Gaming Jamie restarted her Terror Town 2. And I thought she was absolutely insane. But she was the same thing. It was on 22 count Hardanger and she hated it. And she switched it to, I think it was 28 count. Two over one tent stitch. It might have been 25, but I think it was 28. Either way. Beautiful decision. Thanks, Crafty Gaming Jamie, for the um, cojones. <laughs> you gave me the cojones to restart it after 19,000 stitches. And I love it again. That project was a year old, and I only had 19,000 stitches in it. That's still 131,000 stitches left to go, and I didn't want to touch it. So it just was not worth it anymore. And so... Yes, restart. Beautiful, wonderful. Yay. On to whips. I worked on... Where's the pattern at? I had it right here. Midsummer Night's Fairy by Arabelia. Um, This is what the pattern looks like. 
This is where it was at last time you saw it, and that would have been during the whip parade. And I worked on mostly down here. Um, these lighter color stitches you can't really see that well. I did about 300 stitches in her on a random Monday because so I was like, oh, it's Monday, I should work on a Mirabilia. So I pulled out this lovely lady. This is 16 count Zweigart Ice Blue Ada. Um, yeah, she's pretty. I like her. Um, ba -ba -ba. it'll be done one day, someday, eventually. <laughs> like all of my projects. I worked on Gamer Skills Forging by Flossy Fox Shop. Um, I'm at like 58% done on this one. This is where I was at last time. This is where I'm at now. Uh, last time y'all saw it was during the whip parade. Everything y'all just saw during the whip parade. Why am I saying that? Anyways, so this is where it was. This is where it's at now. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Um, 58% done. Chugging along. It's super cute. Can't wait to finish it. Uh, this is will probably be my next finish. I have been working on Whip It Good, the sal with some of the girls. Um, I am putting one thread length in a day until I catch up. This whole top half should be done by now, and I should be working down here. But I'm behind because I got so hung up with um, finishing Candy's test stitch. But I'm catching up slowly but surely. Yay! It's pretty. Uh, this is 16 or 18 count, Ada. I don't remember. I dyed it myself. Um, but yes, it's gorgeous. I love it. I can't, can't wait to catch up. I will get there eventually. And then... You know, I don't know if this is the new starter or whip for y'all. I think I showed it in the whip parade, but I'm not sure. Um, I am doing a round robin where I'm, it's not started yet. It doesn't technically start until February. Um, February, we are supposed to start our own parts, and then we have two months to do our own parts before we mail it out to the next person. So this is my part, part of my part. Uh, this is Antique Scissors. Um, and this is 32 count Belfast Linen that I dyed myself. I wonder, can you, you can kind of see that dirt, little dark spot right there? Yeah, you can see it better on the back. Um, my dog played in the mud for the first time in her life and then immediately came inside and stepped on my, my pattern or my project. <laughs> um, Miss Coco, if you don't know, she was a rescue dog. Um, and the people that had her before did not allow her to go outside. Um, and so she's not big on the outdoors. She doesn't like going outside normally when it rains. She's like, no, don't make me go out there. Well, she finally went outside one day and played in the mud and played in the rain and played with the dogs and they were all running around with the zoomies. And when she come inside, she immediately bolted up onto the bed and stepped on my project. Um, so there's her little footprint. <laughs> Thankfully, it was on the backside, so you can't really see it from the front and I'm not worried about it. if it ends up showing through then Coco just added her signature to it but um anyways my part it's gonna say scissors and then there's gonna be like a little squiggle and then I've got this pair of crane scissors which is almost done I've got like two more little rows up here and it'll be finished um you can't see like what if I put this one behind it it's so see-through there we go um 
The thread that I'm using is a Karen Water Lilies. It's my first time using a Karen Water Lily silk. And it's variegated with like blue and purple and like this brownie goldy color. And it's not showing up well here. But you can see it great in person. It reminds me of those like rainbow metallic scissors. So that's why I went with that. So all of the scissors will be stitched in this rainbow metallic. And then everything else is going to be just like a regular blue, which is funny because the color is actually called greenery, but I swear it's a blue and it matches the blue that's in this almost perfectly. Um, so I dropped foraging. Anyways, yes, it's cute. I love it. Um, it is. Yeah, I don't actually have to start that yet, but I did. Just because I was struggling so hard with picking a floss. <sighs> Paul, I guess? Oh, I forgot something. Let me go grab Okay, I was back. Um, so, Paul. Okay, why? Why am I weird? I have some haul that's haul, and then I have some haul that's Christmas present. Um, some of the Christmas present stuff is already in use or put away. Jordan from Jordanette Needlehouse um, sent me a Christmas present. It was amazing. Some of it was Christmas decorations and then um, like earrings. And so those have been put away with the Christmas stuff already. So I can't show you those. They weren't stitchy related. But I wanted to show them, but again, everything's already been packed up at this point, so it's not going to be, you're not going to get to see it. But uh, she did send me some other stuff. This fabric, for instance, gorgeous. It is a, it looks like 16 count. This is pink grapefruit. And this is one of the fabrics that um, Jordan dies over at Needle House and I love it and it's gorgeous and I'm actually thinking about restarting Princess Kaguya on this fabric. Um, I started her on Elixir and because I did a floss toss with like the partial flosses that I had but now that I have the whole set I actually like it better on this one. So I'm probably gonna restart her on this which is fine because there's only like 200 stitches in. Um, so yeah I think I'm gonna put her Oh, my chair. Put her on this one. This gorgeous fabric. It is. My, I don't think I've ever noticed that my chandelier cast funny shadows. Look at that light. Okay. <laughs> well, it's not really a chandelier, but it's one of those dangly lights. It's got multiple lights on it. Yeah, that. Anyways, gorgeous. Love it. Um, this is also from Jordan, but not dyed by Jordan. This is a Paddock Lane Designs fabric. Um, let's see. I think it's supposed to say spooky. 28 count even weave. Which 28 count even weaves are my favorite. And 16, 18 count Ada. Those are like my favorite fabrics. So Jordan hit the nail on the head with both of these fabrics. Pink and purple are my favorite colors and they are my two favorite counts or two favorite fabrics, whatever. Um, and isn't it just gorgeous? Ah! She knows me so well. <laughs> there was also some flosses. Let me dig out the ones that she sent me. Um, she sent me a Cascade House and a cottage, cottage Garden Threads, um, which I have never used either one of these brands before, and they are just gorgeous. This one is called Pot of Gold. And this is color 3188. Um, and they make me think of 
like Halloween. And so I'm going to use these on a Halloween Quaker or sampler or something like that. It's gonna be gorgeous. They're beautiful. I love them. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, let's go to most sale silks or most sale floss. Um, as y'all know, I am a most sale addict. And last time we had a normal update, I discussed the fact that I ordered from their uh, her Etsy account, which was the very first order on the Etsy account. And bless Mo, she sent me extra. Um, and not just like I don't know okay it was a gift a thank you for ordering and a thank you for talking about me on your floss tube channel which was absolutely unnecessary but I 100% instantly said yes um so these are the two that I ordered I ordered a skein of green chantilly and a skein of black um which are both gorgeous and so soft. And then Mo sent me, cause I had mentioned I wish she had a white. Um, so she sent me her ivory, uh, which is the closest she has to white, a whole hank of it, which is amazing. And then she also sent me an entire hank of black, which I have already started using. It is in my bedroom next to my bed because I'm using it instead of DMC 310 for like everything now. Um, I would definitely have to buy another Hank at some point because it is a dream to work with and the coverage is amazing. Um, so bought this, this was a gift. And then there was also, Ooh, I don't know where to put it, more gifts. <laughs> so I got some most sale beeswax, which I have never actually used beeswax. So this will be a first when I do use it. Um, I haven't used it yet. I wanted to show it off here first and it's just been forever since I've done an actual video. So oh, it screws off. It has no smell, which is perfect because I'm allergic to a million things. Um, no smell, no color as you would expect. And then I got, which I saw these on Cam's channel once. Mo sent these to Cam. They were some single stranded silk. And it's 360 yards of single strand silk. I've got Gold Rush, Lime Smoothie, and Dark Grape, um, which I will use all of these colors. I just have not used them yet because I wanted to show them off in their cute little rolls. Oh my goodness. They're so soft and it's so exciting that it's single stranded. I've never seen single stranded silk in person before. So yay. Um, these are amazing. <clears throat> so those were the gifts Mo sent me. Bless her. Wonderful, wonderful lady. Um, this is my most recent Mo sale order. They usually come in little Ziploc bags with a mint. I love it. I eat them like every time instantly when I open the bags, but not this time. So these are Love is in the Air. And these are silks. This is Moss. And this one is Sully, um, which I wonder if this is a play on like Sullenberger that landed the plane in the Hudson River. I wonder if that's why it's called Sully. <laughs> um, so these need to be put onto their floss drops because guess what else I bought, guys? I finally bought some Autumn Adam Hart floss drops. I bought the black ones, the not so perfect ones. Um, and okay. So I put the, all my mows on these and then I just kind of braided them together to help them not get tangled. Um, don't worry. This is not all of them. Um, this is, this is the rest of them. 
guys. Um, and these are just the ones that aren't currently in projects. I have a lot more that are actively in projects and therefore not on the storage rings. Um, these are my extra hanks. Um, so what I do with my hanks is I split them into two or three and then I'll put one of them in the regular storage here. So like this is all my silks and these are all my cottons. And then the extras go into a secondary drawer and when I finish what's on this, then I'll pull one of these back out. So this is like deep storage. This is regular storage. <laughs> ah, and I have so many more that are in project bags. I could, I could make a skirt. I could absolutely make a skirt out of these. Wouldn't that be the coolest, coolest skirt ever? But I digress. I really love these floss drops. Um, I know they're called like the not so perfect or whatever, uh, the frosted black, but honestly, I don't see anything wrong with them. Um, some of them are like discolored on the side, but that's it. I seen in the pictures how some of them might have like holes running through them. I ordered three packs of 50, so I ordered 150 of these. I've only opened one pack so far and none of them had holes going through them. They just had some discoloration on the side. Um, but that's a-okay with me. These were 100% worth the money. Um, now that I've seen these, I, I bought these because they were cheaper. They were half the cost of the normal ones. Um, I would pay full price for this, no problem. Um, but I really like the black, so I'll probably order some more of these, like, damaged black ones, just because I like them so much. Um, I have not used all 150 yet. In fact, I've only used 50 so far, but the only thing I've put on them so far is my Mosail floss. And I would like to transfer my DMCs over onto floss drops too and get them out of the floss away bags for project storage, at least for long-term storage, I'll probably leave them in the floss away just because I have that whole system set up already. But like to put them in my project bags, I think I would prefer them to be on floss drops. Um, I just like them better for pulling thread for that stuff. Um, okay. Next piece of haul. I've got some more of this 28 count easy grid. I bought one big piece and cut it up to start mom's house on. And I'm keeping this for whenever the move strikes for the next full coverage. Um, okay. Now we are down to three stitches. So in December, I went to Three Stitches in Spring, Texas, which is right outside of Houston. And I got to meet Eve from Eve at Queen Bee Crafts. Um, she was in Texas visiting her husband's family for the holidays. It was only like three and a half hours away from my house. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw the kids in the car. They can bring their video games. We will come down. Let's meet in person because... Eve has been working on candy and we talk fairly regularly. So I was like, I'd love to meet you in person. Let's just go. So we went down, um, we spent like two hours there shopping. And so this is my little, my little bag from there. Um, has all the information you need right there. Boom. The only thing from there that I have already started was that was when we picked out the antique scissors to do as a round robin. Um, so that round robin is going to be with Eve from Queen Bee Crafts, um, Stephanie from Cross Stitch the Globe, and Jordan from Jordan at Needle House. Um, and so I bought this fabric which says it's soft willow, 30 count legacy linen. It's this gorgeous green color. Um, 
yeah, that's pretty true. Excuse the, the ha ha. Um, we get that a lot here. Um, yes. I have no clue what I'm going to do with it, but it's pretty. I have no clue who the dyer is. There was not a dyer name on there. I don't know if Legacy Linen is the dyer. I have no clue. But it's cute. It's pretty. It is very, very thin. Very, very see-through. Um, so I won't be able to travel on it, but it'll be used for something. It's pretty... I hadn't seen like this shade of green before. It's like a pretty light sage almost. Um, let's see. There's going to be plasticky, crinkly noises. I did buy a whisper, my first whisper. Um, I wanted to use this. I've got a Santa pattern I plan on starting, which I thought I was going to start in December. I ended up not starting in December. Um, but I wanted this for like the Santa coat and the beard and all that fun stuff. So I picked that up while I was there. And then we have a little stack of patterns here, guys. Um, this is Texas Hill Countries by Redbird Designs, which is a local company. Um, little, oh, that glare little bitty. I'm not taking all of these out of the bags. Um, <laughs> child Proof by Glory B. It says, I've child proofed my house, but they're still getting in, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. <clears throat> Some people might not find it funny, but that's my kind of humor. This is Plum Street Sampler's Rue Crew, which was funny and cute and kangaroos just makes me think of Australia which makes me think of Jordan so sorry Jordan two little kangaroos made me think of you so I bought it <laughs> um it's cute this is a stitcher's resolution by heartstring samplery this is when in doubt always buy more linen and thread stitch all day and absolutely no housework allowed always start a new project before the last one is finished Requiring a return to number one, which, like, yes, please, that's me. I doubt I'm going to do it in these colors. I'm probably going to swap them out um, for, well, I might just go more pink. Because um, it uses gentle arts and classic color works, and I will just... Use my Mosail. The garbage truck is outside picking up our trash and the dog does not like it. Okay. This is Jack Frost's Tree Farm by Little House Needleworks. This is part four. Um, I did not realize, I did not see the part four. So apparently there are other parts. Um, but this is the balsam fur part, and I only got it because of the truck, because my mom has the red trucks all over her house. Um, so I plan on stitching that for her. This one, I'm not going to show you, that's a secret project. I haven't started it yet, but it's going to be a secret project. This one is from Plum Street Samplers. It's the Bigfoot Bunch. Which I got because of my husband who loves going Bigfoot hunting and has taken the kids Bigfoot hunting. Um, yeah, I thought it was cool and cute. So, let's, let's see. Yeah, it's classic color work. So, I'll probably do uh, the DMC conversions. They list the conversions on the back. So, I'll do that in DMC. And this one is by Ink Circles, which also apparently is a series, um, which I did not know it was a series on this one either. I did not read the stuff, so I just looked at the pretty pictures. And it says third in a series of Bad Neighborhoods, which is amazing. I'm going to have to try to find the other ones. Hopefully they're as good. This one's called Water Hazard. 
And look at that little tentacles coming out of the, <laughs> the little lake or pond or whatever. <laughs> That's wonderful. I love it. Um, yes. So I think that's all of Stitchy stuff, um, haul and whips and new starts and all that fun stuff. Um, a small moment to talk about Candy, which she was released 10 days ago since recording. And I have been absolutely blown away with the response. So has Erin. We were not expecting her release to go so well. Uh, I mean, we, we hope she would do well. We weren't expecting the level of wow. Um, she's been downloaded 65 times in 10 days. Um, I have had three different cross stitch stores contact me asking if I have a wholesale account anywhere, which we're not doing candy on wholesale because she's a free pattern, but the next one, hopefully we will be able to do. Um, we have started working on our next pattern. Um, and just thank you guys so much. I can't even express the amount of gratitude and just happiness that it brings. I've gotten messages and comments from complete strangers going, thank you so much for this pattern. Like you have no clue how much this helps my self-confidence or my body image issues. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like me, my pattern? Like. Aaron's like, what? My art? Like, we, we did this for you? Like, this is amazing. I'm so glad that she's being accepted the way she is and that everybody loves her the way y'all do. And so just thank you. Um, it's wonderful. Y'all are fantastic. Uh, oh, I'm not going to cry. Um, and then I have one more thing. Um, that's not really haul, but kind of, I told y'all I would show it to you when I got my autograph done, but if y'all recall, I ordered the physical copy of the Mock Diver book, um, that I had read the digital version of, and I took it with me when I went on my trip to Alabama, because that is where the author Ben lives, um, <clears throat> And he autographed it for me. And I'm so excited, guys. Uh, <laughs> which the autograph was very on point. It says, you are the best thing I have ever gotten out of McDonald's. Um, because we met at a McDonald's. It was a random, hey, I like your boots. That turned into six hours of talking and what has it been, eight years, seven years of friendship, like, and he knows me better than anybody else on the planet. Um, I literally, like, don't get me wrong, I love all my other besties, but they don't know me like he knows me, and so to think all of that started with a conversation in McDonald's that turned into a six-hour day at McDonald's. <laughs> um... So this means a lot to me and I love it and I can't wait for the next one. Um, he's going to have to autograph all of my books now and forever. Everyone that he puts out, he's going to have to autograph. Um, but I think that's it. I think that's all I have. Um, I love you guys. Bye.